Hey, Doug, man, you know the Starbucks unicorn frappuccino? They, they say it tastes like sour birthday cake mixed with a cream sickle covered in pixie sticks and a healthy sprinkling of despair. Oh, our show is so much better than despair and so much cheaper, too. All you have to do is go to patreon.com forward slash nice guys. No ugly residue on your hands and no unicorns will visit or were harmed in the making of this show. Well, depending on how you listen to the show, you might have some residue on your hands, but that's up to you, not us. <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash nice guys. Coming up on the Frickin' Frack Show, better known as the Nice Guys on Business. Deadpool's got a got a superpower, and it's basically immortality and a lot of strength, and he can he can fight like a motherfucker. But when it came to to Daredevil, you you think sonar is a superpower? Well, looks like I picked the wrong day to give up the Nice Guys on Business podcast. That in sniffing glue. Not that there's a difference. Need an education on how to grow your business? The Nice Guys are here to help. Learn about great customer service, networking, and how just being nice can help you prosper. Now, here are your hosts, Doug Sandler and Strickland Bonner. What, what were you saying before when you were trying to get back on? Oh, by the way, here we go. It, just in case I decide to use this as bonus material, I hit new recording, and like Doug's gone. So, of course, I've got the music. And I hear Doug talk. Doug comes home like, hey, can you hear me now? And then he hears the music and starts laughing. <laughs> Anyway, that is the best music. We're getting so much mileage out of that. That has got to be a permanent slot in Zencaster. Yeah, the, yeah uh, that's good. The technical problems music. Oh, that is good. Did we start our episode? Have we? Should we start officially now? Can we do that? Because we got we got. Shit yeah, to yeah, do. we're ready. Uh, yeah, we we, about a just so everybody topics. knows before we even start officially, just strap it on because this is going to be a long episode. This we got could a lot. be a long episode. <laughs> so lot. we've been doing. Uh, I, I, are we start like that yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, hey, welcome back. Welcome back. It is Thursday. My name is Strickland Bonner on the other side of the microphone, Mr. Doug Sandler. We have a kajillion topics. We're right now recording our t- our Thursday episode because we recorded the Tuesday episode a week ago. Yeah. And we've decided, fuck all this. We, we, can't, we can't split them up. We can't do we like can't. A, an ahead of episodes. So the choices were either record today's episode and then do two more so then we're a full week ahead but we love mm-hmm. you guys and we want to stay timely so instead we're just going to record this one today and it may be long because we got a lot of topics and so you know what fuck it strap yourself in it could be a long ride so you you know that we like to stay very very on point and and on topic so you know the like it, to stay current is extremely important to us so when we start talking about time. manix barnaby jones and rockford files you know, you know where, that we're where so. Where did that t- all come from? You don't. Re- <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, James. Just, just. I love this music. Though. You gotta hear the harmonica. <laughs> Strickland. Do you, do you know what his rate was? What? What was that? His rate. His Rockford's- rate. Rockford's rate, what he charged. Oh my gosh, you know what he charged? How do you know? Okay, let me take a guess. It was a here. running now, joke in the in the in the show. Oh, I had no idea. I'm gonna say thirty five dollars an hour. Two hundred dollars a day plus expenses. Really? That was the thing. Because he would at, at the, this was like the seventies, right? And so right, that right. was like a lot of money. Two hundred dollars a day plus expenses. And I think like the joke was that his rate was pretty high. Like he would say it, like expecting that nobody would pay it, right, and, right. and like a lot of times he wouldn't get paid. But he would always say that he's like people say, like I want to hire you. My rate's two hundred dollars a day plus expenses, right? Like he would say that, like he's the shit, even though he's living in a fucking trailer, right? Like right, doesn't so, he live so, in a double wide or something? <laughs> I think I don't remember. Hey, he hey, was like hey, the original. Oh shit! I just realized that you know what? illegal weapon. What about illegal illegal weapon? Weapon? lethal weapon? Lethal, lethal weapon when. Uh-huh. Um, Mel, Gibson. Mel Gibson. He he lives in a a, a trailer on the beach. Okay. That's from Rockford Files. Oh my god, I never realized that. Oh, so you're saying that you think that there's a connection between Mel Gibson's character, the the the, uh, the actual like come to life of that character, and Rockford Files, in that both of these are fictional characters that live in a trailer, but one of them lives at the beach. 
Right, right. I think Rockford lived at the beach too, didn't he? I don't know. God, now I gotta go back and watch it again. I really like that show back right in the See, day. See, this is what we're talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, Funkin' Fans, Nice Guy this Community. This is not a topic, by the way. This is not one of our 27 topics. So remember when we said this show might be long? It might be really fucking long. Really long, long really long. <laughs> Before we get into any of the topics, spin the topic wheel and do all of these great new fun things that we're gonna do, we have to remind you, we did this on Monday's episode. I don't think that we did it on Tuesday because we no, recorded because we had Tuesdays already recorded Tuesday. Less. <laughs> right, so Wednesday's episode. So this is the Thursday show. If you are listening on Overcast, we know 80-some odd percent of you are listening on Overcast. Please take a moment. Extremely important. We have, do you have like a, a, a slipping, like an avalanche kind of sound effect that you can try to dig uh, up somewhere? I don't know. I'll have to find something. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, you may as well just I'll use look for something while oh, you... Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, Funkin' fans, nice guy community, 80-some odd percent of you are listening on Overcast. Please do us a favor. We have slipped. Ooh, not good. We have slipped to the fourth position on Overcast behind three companies now three podcasts we have tim ferris we have gimlet and and we have npr so three basically i don't know even know who they are i've never heard of npr gimlet or tim ferris ever so why we would let three no names get in front of us here's how you how you change the course of our history of our direction please take a moment go to overcast <laughs> strickland frantically searching for a sound effect Hit uh, i got something but i need to dump it I need to dump it into Zencast. That's like fine. I'm listening to it right now. Yeah. Oh, but, no, just, um, hit the, just hit the plus button. Don't you hit the? Can't you hit the plus button and then just add the file name? That's how you no, do no. it. Okay, I'm on YouTube, right? I have to actually <laughs> oh, oh, get the file. I'm not downloading it from YouTube. Got I'm it. hearing it on YouTube. Yeah. Don't so then worry I need to open it. up my. Rec- no, no, I got it. I'm good. But you're just like, why well, uh, haven't you got it yet? Uh, well, I've already found it. Well, I think I and did I'm just listening thought- to it, but you can't hear it. Strickland as a 30 year old. It's all good. Don't worry about me. Hey, I'm the tech guy. I'm running the board here, dude. I'm working it. You all just do right. your thing. Don't worry about me. Strickland, right? I did my thing. I was finished. If you were good, you would have been right there on the on the oh, queue. Sorry, I didn't realize you were done already. You can't you gotta keep talking then. You can do okay, let me talk just, for another sorry, moment. Doug. Nice guy community, please. And now you see I would have had favor. it done by now, but now you got me, you know, talking. About no, it. that's all right. Take your time. We'll, well, this will be ready for next week's show. It's fun. I've got it right now. It's coming. Jesus. Please go. God, please really go to Overcast. Hey, can you load Hit it this little... quick? No, you can't. You can't load it this quick. <laughs> Don't give me shit about it. It's all good, what? man. Come on. <laughs> Wait, are you, you know I can hear you. God. Oh, I'm sorry. Can, was I saying that out loud? <laughs> you know I can fucking hear you. <laughs> oh. Wait, that's from The Price is Right when you miss the price. <laughs> exactly. The Price is Right horns. Exactly. That's the losing. Oh, shoot. Why does it keep okay, playing? I, I just wanted to... <laughs> I think oh, okay, once there we was go. enough. Stop. Once was enough. I was enough. trying to stop it, but I guess it was restarting it. Yeah. Oh gosh. So. Okay, we hit the we did that. All right. Get, all right. Well, we ready? We you're going to do the fast the fast read of the topics because I think if you share with the nice guy community the topics and then we get right to the topic wheel. Yeah. What did we call it? The wheel of fuckery? Did we, the wheel did of fuckery. we actually name did, did we, we name did. it the wheel of fuckery? I think okay, so. Okay. Yeah. So let's We don't want to name it the wheel uh, of funkery. Oh, doesn't matter. maybe. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Okay. Well, uh you, shall we you want to read the topics first? Did we yeah, do Yeah, we've already the, gotten did you we, just did recommend on overcast, right? Yes, recommend on Overcast, please. That was the end of that. That was our first topic, so that's good. Oh, that was a topic. You ready for the rest? That was. We got (laughs) got through one already. I didn't. I didn't realize. You know, normally what I will do is I will send you the text message about five minutes before we go live, and and then I'll and then I'll just delete it because knowing that you're going to get tell me this this week it's the same. I I don't know any of the topics, so we are ready. Give us the what do you what do you want to call this portion of the show where you do the fast read, the speed read? I don't know. Speed, go ahead. All right, go ahead. The, I'm ready. The spe- is there a better name? I don't know. No, that's fine. We'll we don't think have to of a name everything. Name. No, we don't <laughs> yeah, have to name everything. You know, it's funny. Strick, we're two years plus into the show, 300 almost, 370 almost episodes into the show. We have not even, we don't even know what segments of the show we did. We're, we're constantly, constantly reinventing ourselves. Come on. That's what I it's know, all about, I right? Know, the only constant has changed. That's, that's a good thing. That's good. That's good. When when you first started doing the show with me, did, was it a little bit weird to have a conversation like we're on the radio? Like it wasn't bit. like a phone call anymore, was it? No. At some no, point, it, was a little it stopped bit weird being at first. like a phone call. It stopped being like a phone call, and it was more like a broadcast. Correct. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know what you're getting at, but okay, I'm with you. I'm, I'm no. I'm just. Along. I'm just thinking. I'm so used to now having this conversation with you. I, you know, I can stand up. I can sit down. And guess what? I'm standing up right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, Strick, I'm ready. Give me the fast read of the topics for today's episode that we are never going to get to all of them. Go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Recommend on request turn key podcast 50% off for the first official week. Perfume and Kelowna. We really fooling anyone. Deadpool, Daredevil, Super, Super, super <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. I hit a, I hit a speed bump there. I'm going to try again <laughs> What was from the, the top. snag word? What was the snag oh, word? I don't know. It just like went right out of my head there. I'm, okay, I'm going to take that mm. from the top again because I don't like that. I hit that speed bump. We're gonna hey, Strick, have you ever seen Spam a lot? <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll get I that have later. not. You'll, no, we'll get that later. you'll get that later it's today. Okay. We'll we'll explain okay. what that is. No spam a lot. No, I I, I want to <laughs> see it. I love Monty Python, but I want to see it anyway. Okay. <gasps> recommend on overcast turnkey podcast fifty percent off for the first official week. Perfume and cologne. Are we really fooling anyone? Deadpool, Daredevil, Sonar is a superpower. Fan of grass cutting, unicorn frappuccino, cured coffee, apple is slipping upside of ball. Does Tito's a sponsor? Do we need pennies anymore? Love the poll idea. Does anyone listen to the radio anymore? Gas stations today versus the sixties. <laughs> did that's you say that's really not that many did we need panties anymore is that what was that one of the topics Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> what was the topic 12, i heard 13, that one that 14, was 15. that's one. not too bad no nah, it's not really bad at do all we need panties many, uh, anymore i, I think, don't know where your I brain we, is that is not what i said <laughs> oh do we need pennies anymore that was my topic right? yes it was your there's, topic there's got to be I know there's got to be an over under for are we how many are we actually going to cover it we should have a we should oh, have a line in Vegas a Vegas be betting good, line I like it Each <laughs> how one, many topics like, are the many nice guys going to? to cover yeah yeah exactly yeah because we could have a list of 15 but sometimes yeah, we don't even get to true. any of the 15 sometimes we get to I don't think we've true. ever gotten to you know 15. you can bet on the over under the length of the uh <laughs> the stars the star spangled banner no the uh what is the uh, yeah really are you looking at over weird well, over no, unders on, yeah. on I mean, Las like Vegas? The, it's it's how long will an artist take to sing the national anthem at the Super Bowl? Like that is one of the the prop bets you wow. can make for the Super Bowl. In fact, you remember the year that they did the Super Bowl in New York and it was outside and the uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers played with Bruno Mars. There was actually a pr- okay, there was a prop I don't remember, bet but that sure. you could make as to how many uh, members of the Red Hot Chili Peppers would play with no shirts on. <laughs> and this was an outside stadium the, in January, resp- right? But those guys are fucking crazy. If yeah. I'd known about that bet, I would have bet the over in a heartbeat. None of them wore shirts. They all came out with no shirts on. Okay, so how... But how does something like that work? So let's say that, I don't know, let's say that Bruno Mars, since you said his name, it's just stuck in my mind. Let's say Bruno Mars is, sta- is set up to do the yep. national anthem for the uh, for yep. the, um, for the the show, mm-hmm. for the uh, Super Bowl, okay? Or the Star, Star Spangled Banner, the national anthem. Mm-hmm. Same thing? National anthem. But, okay, national anthem. So set up to... By the way, up- we're off on a great start because this is not any of our topics. <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> We are eleven <laughs> minutes eleven minutes in. We have not covered one of our fucking time. Yes, we yeah, did. We covered, we covered one. one. Recommend on we overcast. covered the overcast one. So let's say the over under is uh, for the for the national anthem. It takes a minute mm-hmm. and a half to sing. Now, could somebody call Bruno Mars and say, "Hey, listen, it, it, you know, normally it's a minute and a half. How long does it take for you know?" Or maybe they were part of the rehearsal and they can see about how long it takes to to do it. Now, how much of that is um, swayable. You know, with the, with you know the prop I mean? bets. Like, it, that's yeah, something it's you interesting, can easily with the prop fix. bets, I really do think that some of them are like that, like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, right? Somebody somewhere probably knew that the Chili Peppers were planning on going on shirtless. There was one for, you know, Lady Gaga did this year, right? There was some prop bet with Lady Gaga okay. about, like, will she enter through the roof or something like that, right? And you're right. It was totally something that, yes, they're trying yeah. to keep this stuff a secret, but somebody knows, right? Like, if I'm on the production team for Lady yeah, Gaga yeah. and I see the option for a prop bet of um, will Lady Gaga enter the stadium through the roof, I'm going to be like, get my fucking savings out. You know, I'm going to bet the farm on that because I know it's going to happen, you know? <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I but got of course, it. with the I national okay, anthem, so you read the national you read, anthem is because you know artists now they're so dramatic yeah. and they stretch it out and they take so long and all that. I mean, you know, that one's kind of funny. Oh, so you're saying it could be well with the national yeah, anthem? Yeah, it could be one of those things where he yeah, may, yeah, the national anthem. Like they don't do that to tracks or anything, right? I mean, usually they're really playing it or really singing it a cappella. And even if they're rehearsing ahead of time, which I'm sure they are, and somebody's watching the rehearsal. 
they could easily take longer, more time or less time when they actually do it. But like yeah, Lady Gaga it. entering from the roof, that's not going to change. I mean, you got to rehearse that about a hundred times. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you got to rehearse that. Yeah. But if you're Roseanne Barr and you're singing the national anthem, <laughs> anything is, yeah, you can, you can do anything. <laughs> So, all right. So let's ask it. Let's ask. Let's throw it out there. I mean, we can just just tick off the topics as we go along. Uh, what do you think today's over under is? We have no idea. You know, at this point, we're 13 minutes into the episode. We have no idea how many topics we're going to cover. We don't even know how long the episode's going to be. 15 topics. We've hit one so far. Are we going to have an over under? <laughs> it's not so at at this rate we have a we have a hundred and seventy five minute long show. <laughs> well, if, if we do we them all, all the you know we never do them all. That's and you know gonna we're happen. never going to get to the the twelve worries no, that every never entrepreneur has, or they're lying. No, that's always one. That's a, that's always the last one on the list as well. So I, I say that we just go ahead and throw caution to the wind. We spin mm-hmm. the wheel of fuckery and we determine what our first topic is. And, and I'm not ready to pick my my topic. That is that's a, right. You a do free get choice. one free yeah. choice of a topic that you get to pick anyone you want without <laughs> spinning the wheel. <laughs> right. How many times do you get to interrupt me in the event that I uh, that I'm on a topic that I don't like? There's no limit on that. I can interrupt you anytime <laughs> I want. I can do that as much as I want. <laughs> oh no! All right, all right, okay, all right. Just making sure I understand where we stand. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad we got that set. All right, spin number one. Thank you. For, thank you for shortening the wheel. Oh, spin. okay. So this is a this is a good one, and I think it we actually may be able to cover two okay. with this. Okay, Daredevil. Oh, sonar as right. a superpower oh gosh okay but you know what this kind of backs up okay. to deadpool because you so, started you got into daredevil by watching deadpool yeah, so let's cover yeah. two topics together right now yeah so you finally right, watched, which one do you want to go which one do you want to start you finally watch deadpool yeah so you know me i'm really and is it like the char- greatest superhero movie ever made it was fucking yeah. ridiculous it was ridiculous a little unrealistic but it's a superpower it's a superhero movie so i certainly can expect that there's going to be some uh, uh disproportionate rea- stretch of reality there great great movie but i don't know it as how many times have you seen the movie probably three times I and mean, i saw it once in the theater and i own it on dvd so i think i probably watched it can you hear me are you not hearing me doug <laughs> no, I hear you. There was a there was a hesitation, like a bit of a distraction going on at your house. No, maybe I was drinking coffee or something. I don't know. What? <laughs> okay, Are, all right. You're Strickland. hearing Everything's me, okay? Good. You, did you take your med- you take your medication today? Did you I take your do, medication? I don't know today? what you were talking about. Like, <laughs> I, if if I don't jump right in okay. in the very second that you feel that I should be, then like something's totally wrong. I mean. <laughs> Well, you slowed my momentum down. I didn't know what it was. Strick, I'm like a steamroller. When I'm getting moving, you better you better stay with me or get out of the... What is it? Lead, lead follower, get lead, out of the way. Lead follower, get out of the fucking way. <laughs> right, uh, the first okay. 10 minutes of Deadpool... So I listened to the... The first I 10 the minutes movie. of Deadpool are like about the greatest 10 minutes ever put down on All film. All right, remind, remind me. Remind me. The whole opening scene where um he's basically going to get francis and the car crash on the like he he drops the whole slow-mo thing oh yeah I mean, yeah come on talk yes, about a movie yes. how do they do all that oh it's all cgi you talk about setting even the, the credits tone. right even well that's the, the credits. thing even setting the, credits the tone perfect. right like, like the ver- in the first one minute of the movie right the first thing that you open up with you hear juice newton angel in the morning and you're like what the fuck and you're seeing stuff <laughs> flying around in slow-mo and there's right. like a cup of coffee and there's a body and there's a cigarette lighter and then you see a credit slowly flying up that says a movie by a couple of douchebags <laughs> <laughs> and then directed by an asshole and starring god's gift or whatever the fuck it was like ryan reynolds making fun of himself <laughs> as they are having as in slow-mo you're seeing a copy of people magazine with the the what is it most beautiful man in the world right like it with ryan reynolds on the cover flying by you know like so oh, it was brilliant but let me add this at this at this point, as a guy that's only gone through the movie once, now you need to go back because as I the, the thing oh, that, totally yeah because now that I you know how the movie plays out and I don't want to be a what's it called a spoiler alert I don't want to be a, a spoiler yeah it's too for, late for that for this hour. movie's been out on DVD for like months now okay, so there's no spoiler alert. Alert. But if you haven't wanna, seen it people I, turn it off right now turn off the episode. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about it, and we'll talk about some of the other shit, too. But but if you've only watched it once, it's almost like it's it's a it's important that you go back and watch yeah. the movie again. Because now that you know how the entire movie plays out, if you go back to the beginning, you'll understand why it's, it's it, the way that they rolled out the credit. I don't even understand... <laughs> how they even did all of the special effects that they did in mm-hmm. the in the movie. I, I want to go back, even before talking about the movie, though, I want to go back for a second and talk about the process that I had to go through in order to get oh the movie. Oh, my God. This is not it's no, a topic. It's not a va- and we're going to add one more topic and make the show. But go ahead, Doug. It's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> well, it, it really it really was. It, it kind of is. The, the watching of the movie, it's the whole, it was the whole user experience of getting to the movie. You can't rent the movie right now. You can't rent it unless I'm unless I'm just so stupid I cannot figure out how to rent a movie. Which I've I've rented a number of movies on Netflix and through uh, Apple TV in a, a number of different ways. I could not, no matter what platform I was going to, rent the movie. I had to buy the right. movie. But there's a window. So I, that's when I sent you that text message. And right, but you don't you don't know why that is. No, why is that? <laughs> oh, that's what I'm asking you. Why can't I rent the movie? Why do I have to buy the movie? It's timeline. So let's say a movie comes out in the theater. Okay. And it comes out on January 1st in the theater, right? Okay, yeah. And let's say it's in the theater until March 1st, okay? So March 1st, it leaves the theater. Now, at some point, you can buy it on DVD. Let's call it a month later, two months later. I don't know what... The, it's a it's a predetermined okay. timeline usually, right? So let's say March 1st okay, is right. out of the theater. Okay. Yeah. So by like April... Let's say May 1st is typically when it is going to be available on on demand, like where you have to buy it, you have to pay for it. Or on DVD. Okay. Now, I think right. on demand and DVD, depending on the deal they cut, sometimes on demand will be a week or two before DVD because it's like, hey, you, you can watch it on Verizon Fios on demand before you can even buy it on DVD, right? Still on demand, still like still like rent, still like renting it though. The on demand is rent; it's not buying, right? No, no on demand you buy it basically, or just access. So okay. right, right. So let's okay. say if I'm on Verizon FiOS, right? I would I would purchase it. Now it's in my library, so I do not get right. a physical DVD, but I can anytime, go back and watch right. it anytime I want. So I own it. Okay, right. I got it. I just don't have a physical product, right? And it's, it's 20 bucks. It's like what you would pay for it, you know, okay. if you were buying yeah. a DVD, right? Then what they do is with the on-demand ones, they don't allow you to rent it for two bucks or four bucks yet because it's so new they want to encourage you to buy it, right? So let's say in this particular case, April 1st, it's available on DVD and on-demand to purchase, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it may not be till May 1st or June 1st that they'll actually let you rent it, where you can pay two bucks or four bucks on yeah, Amazon. When, or, or Didn't you just tell me the movie's been out for a while on DVD, though? I'm actually surprised that you can't rent it yet. Yeah, because I got it on DVD, I feel like, two or three months ago. But again, I don't know what the timeline on yeah. these things are. And then, Or maybe because it's so popular. Maybe, they, well, maybe yeah, they're just be. holding out, thinking more people no. are going to rent, more people are going to buy. Oh, totally could be. Totally could be. Like, if they're still selling a lot of them, maybe they're like, well, screw it. We're not going to allow people to rent it yet because they're still making so much money on buying it. It totally makes sense. Well, in in my particular case, it it worked with me because uh, you told me in such a dramatic way, you've got to buy this movie. Because I even said to you, I'm like, listen, I could normally rent it for like four, three or four bucks. But Mm -hmm. what is going on at your house? I don't know. Somebody's screaming upstairs. I don't know. Not right now. That's so normal. I'm going to fix it in the mix. It's normal. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, shoot. I'm My sorry. I don't mean to make reference center. to it because you, you can fix it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's okay. Uh, anyhow, so, so, I go to, I, so I go to rent the movie. It's not available for rent. Now, I have to buy it. So I'm spending $14 and I'm thinking, I, and so I texted you and saying, hey, hey, you know, do I need to buy it? And you're like, fuck yes, you must buy this movie. You will not be disappointed. Right, I, think I, said, I said, if you watch it and you don't like it, I will pay you your $14 back. I'm pretty sure you you offered me a double my money back guarantee, which really is the reason why. I did it. <laughs> so I watched the movie, and so I get into this whole now. Now that I watched it, now I'm in the zone. You know, I go through my rom com zones. I go through my my mystery and my chillers, and I go through my all of the other genre uh, zones. And now I'm in this superhero zone. And mm-hmm. Deadpool two has not come out yet. Okay, so right. I got to do what I got to do, and you know the next the next best thing for me is searching Netflix for a for maybe there's a a, a series or something that I can watch. So I found oh, yeah. Daredevil. Oh my gosh, Daredevil, right? Uh, yeah, I think they've created two. I was talking to my son about it. My son, by the way, just turned twenty one and he bought a car. I know that's not one of our topics, but wow, that was an experience, a whole car buying experience again. <laughs> I did that this past weekend. 
Uh, so I'm watching Dar- Daredevil be- at my son's recommendation, and that's a fucking awesome movie. But uh, I mean, uh, series. But then it gets me thinking about the what is it really? Is it have you have you seen any of the Daredevil? Yeah, I've series? seen a couple of episodes of Daredevil. Yeah. I, are you? Am I really thinking that? Okay, so let's go back to Deadpool for half a second because we're going to keep straddling both of these for a moment. Mm-hmm. There's definitely a superhero power that uh, that Deadpool has, mm-hmm. right? I mean, it's it's immortality. Is that correct? But but there was there was a portion of the movie where he does kill a an enemy, and the enemy I thought also had superhero powers too, but he shot him dead my understanding that was happen? that the the enemy francis i think his ability was that he didn't feel any pain although yeah, yeah, i yeah. don't know about the healing thing i was like slightly you know the <laughs> the whole background of it was that the process that made them into superheroes you never knew exactly how it would manifest itself until it right, did it. right so yeah yeah so they were mutated they, they were mutated into their superhero powers and so uh deadpool's is it wade i think that's his yeah, name right wade, wade wilson, wilson yeah. so so wade's superpower is basically he is he is immortal but he he heals he self-heals and he's got like the, what other super whatever what's his superpower though i forget what, does he have any superpowers deadpool yeah. well that's it like that he's that he's self that he's self-healing now i think i i guess he's super strong too i guess i don't know yeah Something like that. I mean, he de- he definitely is a par- he's a parkour fan. He definitely knows how to do a, a lot of. <laughs> he's a great fighter. Oh my gosh, his fighting capabilities are amazing. But uh, so as as I'm watching Deadpool, I'm thinking, okay, well, any other superhero movie that I'm going to watch or series in this particular case with um, uh, with Daredevil, I'm thinking, okay, Deadpool's got a got a superpower, and it's basically immortality and a lot of strength, and he can he can fight like a motherfucker. But when it came to to Daredevil. Uh, you, you think sonar is a superpower? Well, I think I mean because supposedly cause the, part of it. Again, I'm not a huge uh, uh, Daredevil fan, so if anybody can correct me, please chime in. I, I think it's it's that you know his other senses have been heightened. Chime in. What? Yeah, but but it, it chime in. Like, where are they fucking chiming in? Yeah, unless they're no, listening right now. Okay, you're right. But I think it's that his other <laughs> senses have been heightened, that. and so he's supposed to be. Obviously, he he you know works out and does his whole ninja thing too. But like that, he's supposed to be better at, at other things as well but i i'm with you i'm like it doesn't matter what the superpower is i mean he is more he, he's he's it's all about the character and it's all about the right i mean okay let's think about superman right what is superman's okay. what what is superman's shortcoming like forget his weakness of kryptonite right Crypt- like okay oh, he can sh- fly as fast as he wants he's strong okay. as fuck right uh, you right, can't right, be right. hurt like well, right. Where's the fucking excitement in that? I mean, he can do anything. Anything. Right? Like, yeah. I mean, so, you, so you're like, saying the, weak, the fact that there's some weakness. Yeah, there's some weakness. I, you know, exactly. you're right, Strick. I never really thought about it. You know, the fact that the fact that Daredevil actually has this sonar thing. That's pretty cool. But but he this, he could get killed. He really could, right. unless he Easily. was. Yeah. Yeah, because he has gotten stabbed. He has got. He he has to be stitched up. It's he's not even as strong as uh as uh, as Deadpool. Deadpool, you know, whenever oh God, he grew that baby hand back. Oh, that was creepy. Oh, it was funny but creepy. <laughs> was, yeah, funny and creepy. Uh, but I think that if Daredevil had any uh a- any of that shit happen to him, I think he would actually die. He could die. I'm only a few episodes sure. into season one, so I haven't even gotten there yet. I don't really know how he got his sonar superpower i'm sure we're going to find that out in the upcoming episodes but uh, have you I'm still seen in the, the scene that he... yet where he is Uh-oh. in a hallway like in a in a in an old beaten up apartment yeah. building somewhere yeah. right and there's a yeah. bunch of bad guys in like maybe three different rooms in the hallway and there's yeah. this huge fight is he re- and he's rescuing he's rescuing a kid that one i think that's it right uh, like where he so, beats up so, like yeah, five I, guys I, in the hallway yeah yeah okay. i've seen that I, and I know you're you're not like a movie technical guy, but go back okay. and watch that one again because here's what's amazing about this. Okay, okay, that uh-huh. scene. You know how they do fight scenes. I mean, obviously they choreograph them. They're very specific, right? And and they shoot little mm-hmm. bits at a time because it's so complicated. And not only yeah, do you have yeah. to make it look great, but you have to make it look great and making sure nobody actually gets hit or hurt, right? Oh my that gosh, scene, yeah. And he's they're in so close quarters. Don't tell me they did that in one take. One take. No fucking way. 
and they don't cheat it either. Like sometimes you see something that looks like it was done in one take, but really they just use clever editing to make sure to, to make it look like it was one take. The scene is like five minutes long, at least I think. Yeah. And, it's and long it is, too. And he's got, he's fi- fighting five guys and he close range and the camera is right up on their ass too. It's not like it's not way, way back is where it kind of looks. Right. Not only is it right up on them, the camera actually goes back and forth across the hallway. Like it'll be slowly <laughs> moving in on him and it'll kind of go past him in the hallway and get him from the other side. And then back. It is technically the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in movies. It is so freaking cool. In fact, I want to go back and watch it again right now. But you really need to go back and check it out because knowing that you have a new appreciation for it. Wait. So so now I'm getting him. Now I'm getting him a little bit confused. Wait, was that Daredevil or or was that uh, Daredevil. Deadpool? That was Daredevil. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was Daredevil. Okay. That's exactly what I was thinking. Because yeah, he because he does not have superpowers. He, he he has strength, but I'll tell you some of those moves. I got I got to I got to know who that stunt guy is. That stunt guy is amazing. Oh, ridiculous! You don't think that's a, that's not the same as the actor, right? Probably not. I wouldn't think. <laughs> I don't think I don't he know. does his own. I don't know. I don't know. I have not seen, and I'm I'm assuming at some point he probably he keeps making reference to the fact that he doesn't have a uh, a super costume yet. So I'm assuming oh, yeah. at some point he he makes He's his costume. He's gonna get that. Yeah. He works on that, yeah. But like, yeah, you look at the, you look at the Batman reboot, right? Like the Batman reboot, a lot of it was built on the fact that, yes, Bruce Wayne is a millionaire, right? And yes, he's like, he's got all kinds of really cool toys. But it's also built on, he's just a guy. He really, he has yeah. no superpowers. Yeah. And, yeah. and in right. the first couple right. movies, they always go back to like Albert taking care of him. He'll get back home and he'll be all bruised and battered and beaten. Right. And it's like... <laughs> You know, you're not going to see that. Superman's not going to be bruised and battered and beaten. You never, know, never. Yeah. Da- and uh, and Daredevil is constant. I don't understand. Like even the other characters, everybody is fucking beaten up. I mean, yeah. even the main, like the main villains, they're they're nuts. I mean, these guys uh, and the way that they kill people. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I like Daredevil, like big, but I just like, I forget. Was that, I couldn't get into the, I don't know, I just didn't finish watching the whole thing. It never really sucked me in. Oh, like when the bad guy smashes the guy's head in the door. Ooh, oh, God, that's horrible. That was horrible. And then you just yeah. see like the r- raining blood and and, right. uh, and brains come down. It's like, ooh. Ugh. Yeah, that's Nasty. early in on the season. That's true. If you, I'm, I'm if raising you my get hand, in, <laughs> If you want to get into more superhero ones like on Netflix that you can binge watch, um, Jessica Jones is really good. I liked Jessica Jones. No, is that another one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't. I can't. Well, there's I a whole bunch of them on Netflix now. There's there's um, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, uh, Jessica Jones, and what was the first one? I think there was one before Daredevil even, maybe. No, yeah, maybe Daredevil was the first. Jessica Jones is really good, though, too. I like that one. You know, in in a in a certain way, I don't know who the director of of Daredevil is, or who the or I I, I saw his name mentioned for for Deadpool. There there's a lot of commonalities between those two, but they remind me so much of like a Quentin Tarantino esque style. Oh yeah, totally. That, uh, but in superhero form. So if I think that if if Quentin Tarantino was going to make a superhero movie, I think it would it would have been done in, with. with <laughs> Okay, I, I think totally, it's time to move on to another to topic here. <laughs> Starbucks unicorn frappuccino. Oh my god! <laughs> so this this topic is just one that is it, it, it's nonsense. It's it not. Do you understand what the whole hype behind this 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 coffee is? No. No, it's I mean, just like di- it's no. I don't know. I just don't even know. That's what we Did, used, actually. If For any of those of you who are listening at, to our beginning intro, if you're not familiar with this thing, this is that was the reference we made this morning to how terrible it is. I don't even remember. What was the reference to help me with it? That was our Patreon ad about how we're better than, you know, oh, the yeah. sticky, hey, y'all. Right. You, yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't remember. I thought I heard the, uh, I thought I heard it before, and I'm like, where did we, didn't we just do something about this, the, uh, what is the whole story behind the, the, the Frappuccino? So, there, I'm, I'm looking at a Washington Post online article. Please don't get it. Starbucks baristas are flipping out over a unicorn Frappuccino. So why what it what why is this so bad? It, it, it doesn't really come down to this. If you don't like something that someone is offering, don't take it, right? <laughs> I mean, totally isn't that really what it's all about? I'm totally that, with you. If you don't, it, it's a five dollar drink or something like that, right? Five dollar drink. Yeah, I'm sure most of them are. Yeah. 
Why is it that they uh, say that the, the baristas are flipping out over it? Oh, here we go. Starbucks unicorn frappuccino sparks backlash from baristas. Interesting. Why are the baristas hate it? I mean, I know why everybody else hates it because well, it sucks. Okay, so here's what it says about the baristas. Here's here's what I've been able to to uh, to determine based upon some of the some of the art, art the editorials about it. It's a it's a drink that's very time consuming to make. Uh, it's very messy, <laughs> and uh, and it gets stuff all over their hands. So they have like mm. rainbow colored um, dye. I'm looking at the drink now. Mixed reviews for the. Ed- it's just I don't see what's so bad about it. Why is it called a unicorn anyway? Because I think it's I supposed know. to be a unicorn. Like it, it, it is only going to be around. It's very hard to find, and it's not around for long. I think that's the idea um, of it. I think. I oh yeah, here we go. My hands are completely sticky. That. I have uni- unicorn crap all in my hair on my nose. This is from a barista. <laughs> I've never been so stressed out in my entire life. Uh, another barista shared an image of 56 unicorn frappuccinos that constituted one order, and others gave thanks to customers with simple orders like black coffee. So, have you ever been to a bar? And you, yeah, I know you've been to a bar. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, so yeah, like a mojito is that kind it of is, drink? It is alcohol awareness <laughs> month. Exactly. With a mojito, <laughs> right? When you make a mojito, yeah. you have to yeah. actually muddle lime yeah. right so you know how to muddle, no, muddle you basically mint. take the mint. L- yeah mint. mint you're right right you take the mint leaves and you put them in and you get a little the little fucking wood thing and you can it it's like it's a huge <laughs> pain in the ass like i personally right. would never order right. a drink that needs muddling for that reason and i and that's what the starbucks um baristas are saying they're basically like this thing not only is it making is it ridiculously takes a long time to make but it it's we get all the shit on our hands and our hair and everywhere else right, it would so just not would not well thought out what was all right so help me for a second they also say it tastes like sour birthday cake and shame <laughs> <laughs> i love, I love right. that i love that there's a flavor for shame but right. w- what do you think the reason you know because when starbucks originally came up with this drink and i don't have the the with why it originally was created but when they came up with this drink they don't i don't think that they did it in order to create controversy they probably did it in order to just to create another drink that they thought would be uh, like a seasonal drink i'm assuming or something that was topical or any idea well, why they created the drink to begin with it is interesting because when you get like a big company, let's say McDonald's or Wendy's or Burger King, right? Not only when they're coming up with a new item to sell, right? Not only do they do tons of t- taste testing, obviously, to make sure it's going to taste good, but they also do testing to make sure that it is easily reproducible thousands and thousands of times over so they can make it right. taste the same in every store. But also they do extensive testing on how complicated is it to make this thing. And sometimes they've often made changes to an item because they're like, you know what, this is really tasty, but it's too complicated to make and we are fast food and if this one thing takes off and it takes x amount of time to make it's not practical and i think that's the step they skipped with this one well it, i'm looking at some of the some of the reasons why they created the drink and and i it was available for a limited time it says it was only going to be available from april 19th to april 23rd right <laughs> so it was, it was going to yeah, be available week, for basically. for four for for four days right for four, for four oh, days not even as a week. you sip it changes yeah, as you sip it, it changes color. It not it changes not just color but flavor, making it as magical as the make believe creature it's named for. Uh, Four hundred and what is the drink made of? <laughs> Four hundred and ten calories. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's made of whole milk and whipped cream. Uh, a grande has 410 calories, though, of course, this info changes uh, with using lower fat creams or milks and skip the whipped cream. Aside from the milk and cream, the unifor- unicorn frappuccino is made of a bunch of flavored syrups and sauces, Starbucks, creme frappuccino syrup, vanilla syrup, mango syrup, classic syrup, white chocolate mousse and mocha sauce, and the <laughs> and the fairy powers powders are actually a <sighs> mixture of sugar and food colorings made from fruit and vegetables. Okay. So uh, it has 59, 59 grams or 15 teaspoons of sugar. <laughs> wow. Let's put that into con- Let's put that into context. A 12 Okay, so interesting. A 12 ounce can of Coke has 39 grams of sugar. This has 59 grams of sugar. Uh one so it's Hershey's like double chocolate a can milk of Coke, bars. but a but a grande is like twice the size of a Coke. So it's like the same basically. Okay. One Twinkie has 16 and a half grams of sugar. So it's equivalent from a from a sugar perspective of eating pretty much three Twinkies, which isn't really 
it's not really out of control, right? Right. right? I mean, come on. It's not out of control. It's not like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this thing has 15,000 calories or one serving. It's equivalent to one serving of Ben and Jerry's um, uh, brownie bat batter core ice cream, which has 27 okay. grams of sugar. So it's two scoops of that. What's the fucking big deal? No, there's no big deal with that. A, fr- a bowl really- of... A bro- it, it's eat- eating five bowls of Frosted Flakes. <laughs> <laughs> but all of their yeah. other ones, too, like their regular Frappuccinos, like white chocolate mocha Frappuccino and all. It's comparable. So it's not like it has tons more calories or sugar than any of their other ones that have tons of calorie and sugar. That's not the thing. It's really all about how complicated it is to make um, the whole how uh, it went just nuts on social media. And the, it's the baristas are like, this thing is the biggest pain in the ass ever to make. But hey, you know, so they're only the, having so it for the four other, days. Right. And the other side of it, too, is that Starbucks probably accomplished exactly what they wanted to accomplish, which is mm-hmm. they got a drink out there that's kind of cool, kind of interesting. It's not horrible for you. Yes, it's not good for you. Don't drink it as a part of your normal diet. No, eat, sleep, drink, Dubai. This is not an endorsement. Nor- <laughs> So moving on to way, we're 40 next. minutes into the episode right now i want to tell you <laughs> and like we've hit like a handful of topics so um okay right, our next topic uh, the next topic is um <laughs> the <laughs> this is one that was actually polled on our facebook group and oh, the winner yeah, of the poll important. and which you know what we're going to yeah. cover a couple of topics with this one thing this is going to be good we're grouping them together okay we put a poll That's up good. on our facebook group like i actually had doug come up with some topics before we're recording more Mm -hmm. than five minutes before (laughs) we're recording i posted it on facebook and i said hey guys here's a poll tell us what you want to um what you want us to talk about right before you before you share the the topics on the of the poll nice guy community if you want to participate in any of these polls all you need to do is go to nice shortcut.com that is access to our facebook page we invite and include everyone that's in our listening audience nice guy community members all you need to do is ask and we will let you into the group it is a closed group but we will invite you in just by just because you're asking we're very nice that way okay strick go ahead continue that was a very nice plug, Doug. Thank you. So Thank we you. put on there the, <laughs> the the options for topics were Apple is slipping, like Apple, you know, Apple. Uh, the upside of baldness, Tito's Vodka as a sponsor. <laughs> Do we need pennies anymore? And gas stations today versus gas stations in the 60s. Now, here's what's so interesting. First of all, the number one vote getter was Tito's Vodka as a sponsor, which I fucking love that idea, right? right. What was really Great interesting idea. was somebody somebody added love the poll idea like they added another option and four people yeah. voted for love the poll idea which is great so we may have to start yeah. doing this regularly yeah. but the really interesting thing my topic which i thought would be you know my favorite because i love to to rag on apple is apple is slipping it only got two votes so you know what yeah, I, think I think our funkin fans are speaking are, yeah mm-hmm. they're, they're, t- mm-hmm. they're tired of us hearing <laughs> they're they're tired of hearing mom and dad bicker about apple <laughs> yeah bitch about apple yeah we're we're it's mommy and daddy are just having a conversation it's <laughs> or maybe they're just maybe they're just tired of hearing of apple in general although i have i have I, i'm a bit soured we won't have we won't get into it at all i know there's other topics that we want to cover but uh, I, I have not been real happy with my iPhone of recent just because of some shortcomings that I've been seeing in their voicemail system and storage. Doug, and that some is other, not a iCloud. topic that got voted on. It's not I a topic know, that got that the wheel came up I on. Know. But if you want to use this as your one topic that you get to pick, you're no, welcome to. I'm not. I, I let me just say this and then we will move on quickly. Uh, my mom, who is in her early 80s, and I'm not going to share. I'm not going to share her exact age, and you know I'm not going to share my age. And you'll probably beep well, you that can, out. Well, you can, but I'll beep it out. Is. I mean, you can say how old you are, but I'm just no. going to beep it out. No, my mom is constantly now calling me because her iPhone has been throwing up messages to her, and I try. It, I'm an intelligent iPhone user. I really do feel like Strick, and I'm hoping you would agree with this. Is that if there's anybody that actually knows how to use the Apple products that he has. I'm not saying I'm the smartest guy in the world, but I'm a I'm a I'm a user of their products. So mm-hmm. I should know how to at least undo something that has been done. I can't fucking figure out how my mom got to this. It's just asking for this username and password and every time I know her username and password for this certain part and I, it won't let me get around it. So there's fucking something wrong with it and I have no idea how to fix it. Okay, that's all I need to say. Let's get on to Tito's. Have you contacted Apple? 
I don't really feel like I need to have an appointment set up in order to get this thing <laughs> fixed. But yes, that will be the next step if I if I if I get so frustrated with the phone and after I throw it against the wall, that will be the next thing I do. <laughs> well, then you just replace it and it'll fix the problem. Right, exactly. Exactly. Okay, so Tito's is a sponsor. I would love to make this happen. I just don't know how cuz I you look I, I don't always drink vodka but when I do I prefer Tito's which is really true I really I'm not a you know I like vodka but like if I'm drinking vodka Tito's is the shit I really like Tito's and it's it's like right, in so, Texas it's really good I like it so I can't I can't remember if whether uh, Paul or Tim actually connected us with Tito's. So Tito's actually reached out to me and they said, uh, they gave, they sent me a DM. They said, hey, just reach out to us here. Gave really? me their email address. So, uh, hey, Tito's, a nice guy. Uh, nice guys would love to share you at a live event with our community. Okay, then their response. Thanks for reaching out. Please visit our official online request form, Tito's, and then it gives it the form to apply for a donation or sponsorship. We're happy to review your request, but it can take a few days to get back to you to, to the sh- dear, due to the sheer number of inquiries that we receive each day please keep in mind that we typically require at least 30 days lead time for any donation or sponsorship requests thank you in advance tito's then for then i sent perfect i will follow up with the specs uh with such and such a person and then they they wrote back hey for for podcast sponsorship specifically oh. Oh. Uh, you can contact our media partner and then gave me the name of their media partner and her her um, her um the, the pr company and the and the phone number as well yeah. so i i have two things that i'm going to do i'm going to go to the donation request and fill it out for we have to come up with a live event we need a live event in order to have them you know they're not just going to send us booze well, no, but, <laughs> that would but be wait great, a minute well, that'd be great yeah, um yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if you're being contacted by the podcast department maybe that is like an yeah. ongoing sponsorship option yeah that's exactly that's what we're that's what i'm saying so for what does sponsor, that have to do with a live event? sponsorship specific no, they're two separate, two right. separate um, contacts that they made with, made with me. One was for a live event. The second was was for oh, but hey, if you're talking about podcast sponsorship specifically, reach out to and then gave me the PR company to call. I see. So what you're so, saying yeah, is you're both. working both options right now. I will work both options. I don't have okay. a date, so I can't. I don't want to request a live thing unless we have something that we're that we're doing. I would the other totally, one, though, the I would totally plan on that with Tito's with a live event. I would say we are planning a live event right now that we're trying to firm up the date, but we're thinking June, July or whatever you want to say. They need at least 30 days, right? right so make it right. 60 days. We're right. trying to firm up the details. We want Tito's to be our primary sponsor so we will work around your schedule kind of thing you know make some shit up like we're doing something okay. with Paul. and then as soon as they say they'll sponsor <laughs> then we'll have a date we'll come up with it we'll talk to paul and go hey we got a sponsor. Oh, is, that how, is that how that works i guess all right. I, didn't, I wasn't long. really aware of that's how that works now i know well no, that's how i think we should work it i mean that's not how it usually okay. probably really works but yeah all right anyway. so that's sitting in my inbox in my email and i will take care of that in the next couple of days i'm a little bit busy right now but i like the whole podcast sponsorship idea that'd be freaking amazing have them as a sponsor oh man yeah how cool yeah. would that be all right let's um let's spin the wheel should we do it one more time and then it, will this be the final topic or do you want to cover a couple more topics well, yeah <laughs> okay okay come on 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 hmm. oh, perfume okay. and cologne are we really fooling anyone yeah are we really fooling anybody I mean, are we truly, I mean, what is, I, you know, I have people that sometimes get into my car and I'm like, what the fuck? I, you know what? I am Seriously, very curious to, trends go back and forth sometimes, right? Like, and I think perfume and mm-hmm. cologne is one of those things where like for a while, like years ago, it was really big again, but then it kind of falls out of fashion, so to speak. I feel like it's kind of out of fashion right now, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I do not I do not like more than extremely. If you can smell your cologne, if somebody can tell you're in the building, I think you, you are not. You're wearing too much perfume or cologne. Uh, is it what is it called for a guy? Is that cologne or cologne, is it something yeah, else? Yeah, yeah, it's cologne for a guy. And is it ever cologne for a woman or is it perfume for a woman? Nah, I think it's always perfume for a woman. I actually have a girl at work who works in the. She's in the uh, cubicle that's kind of near me. And just in the last week or so, she started wearing this perfume. It's interesting because she's been working near me for the last couple of months now. And like 
just all of a yeah. sudden now it's like every day and it's really strong it's like i kind of want to say something but i don't know what to do it's weird like why would you do that at work i don't know i don't know it's like when you when you wear something that that um, that invades somebody else's space it's kind of like smoking in a restaurant i know they used to allow smoking in restaurants or in a sp- specific section at restaurants and that was gross and then they and then bars i can you remember going to bars and they would let smoking and every time you'd walk into a bar it's like holy fuck well, i just want to get a drink places. i don't want to walk out s- there are lots of places around the country and around the world where they're still smoking a lot. We just happen to be in Maryland where they've banned it. But I mean, you know, Vegas, you can go smoke pretty much anywhere you want. Oh, it's just, it's bad. So the cologne, the whole cologne subject was brought up because somebody got in my car recently and it was it was overpowering. It was like to the point where I wanted to say, hey, listen, do you, do you have to wear that much? Co-? And it wasn't I don't know if they were wearing a lot or maybe they just applied it or something. It was such an invasion of my personal space. I wanted to roll down the window, but I, I felt like I would have been like offending them. But to do that. I don't know. I I'm not I'm not big on I'm not big on cologne at all. I mm-hmm. I do like to wear enough so that you can tell that somebody is wearing it if you're really close to them. But mm-hmm. aside from that, why why wear it? I'm with you. I'm totally with you. And like I can't okay. figure out why this girl is wearing perfume all of a sudden. Like she's wearing perfume every day to work. Like why? What are you doing? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know. Okay. All right. All right, well, let's uh, let's move on. Should we move on to another topic? Do you want to do that? I don't know. We are 50 minutes in. Do we want to wrap it up? And we hit a good number. <laughs> you know, the ones that we didn't hit were ones that didn't get very many votes. Well, Apple is slipping, which you hit anyway, even though we didn't mm-hmm. want to. Yeah. Upside of yeah. baldness didn't. Well, do we need pennies anymore? That one did get a lot of votes, even though it wasn't as many as Tito mm-hmm. as a sponsor. No, nah, we don't have to. I think the rest of the topics were filler topics. I, so too. <laughs> I mean, we could talk about Turnkey Podcast, but like, I don't think that anybody's actually still listening this late. late in the show. <laughs> we're a little late in the episode right now. Yeah, it's like if we're going right. to push, right, if we're gonna we... push our product, we need to do it early yeah. <laughs> instead of this late when everybody's probably already turned early out. in the episode. Yeah, we're the shoemakers kids. We we definitely need to do a better job of promoting our business. Um, there's uh, Noah Kagan who comes on the show in the, in the upcoming weeks. He's all up in my grill, and I yeah. and I get a little bit I get a little intimidated. He actually hijacks the hijacks the show, and it's no longer me hosting the show. He's a- actually hosting the show himself, and he's asking me questions. I love <laughs> felt it. a little felt a little uncomfortable. You there? Can you hear me? Yeah, dude, I'm here. I think we we've got some delay somewhere because it's been like the whole ha- second half of the episode. It's like I'm hearing you later than you're speaking, and you're not hearing me right oh. away. I don't know whose internet yeah. connection it is, but fortunately okay. with Zencaster, you don't have to worry about that because we're going to have local recordings of each. Like you've been cutting in and out a little bit, <laughs> but I'm sure that since yeah. you have your local recording, it's not going to be affected. So that's that's the total huh. upside of Zencaster, even though we bitched about it. That's tomorrow, Josh on Zencaster. Oh yeah, so we talked to Josh tomorrow. Next week, there's going to be great uh, interviews also so make sure you, you tune in I, I think we should just bail right here we got we've we're 50 minutes into the episode let's bail here we'll come back next week fresh and ready to go with a whole set of new topics that we're never going to get to mm-hmm. uh, and a whole bunch of new spins of the the wheel of fuckery also. <laughs> <laughs> that name? that's a good name that's, that's a, a good, good name. name i like right. it All right, Nice Guy community, never underestimate the power of nice special thanks to uh this entirely amazing week of fun this was good, Strick. This was a good week. Hey, Strick. Oh, wait a minute. I just do want to talk, talk about one thing. What's what's today's? What's this episode? What day is you know, this? We actually, were Thursday. Out, and there you go, pulling us right back in again. But okay, we are oh, three sixty-five. So oh yeah, three hundred sixty-five. So like this is number four, of days in the this year. This is April twenty-seventh. Then correct. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think it. I think today is April twenty-seventh. If I if my if my calculations are correct. Yeah. This is April twenty-seventh. Yeah, uh huh. This is April twenty seventh. Sorry, I, and just, the point I, I had to look to? at the calendar just to. Yeah. The point that I was getting to is that we are quickly approaching sixty thousand downloads for <sighs> second month in a row. It's crazy. Uh, we this is just nuts, and thank you everybody for for being nuts with us because <laughs> this is the best part about running the show is that we are we are completely beholden to you as our nice guy community. Okay, that's it. That's all I got to say. Just want to profess my love to the community again. And don't forget to recommend us on Overcast every single episode individually. Thanks everybody. All right, let's get out of here. Steve O'Brien, take us out of here. Click on the Patreon link in the show notes. And for as little as $2 a month, you can help support the podcast and get access to fun bonus content. That's like half a cup of Starbucks coffee once a month, a grande, double shot, maybe a little flavoring. 
Thanks for listening. I mean, seriously, you need to cut back on your caffeine anyway. Hey, Doug, man, I heard Starbucks unicorn frappuccino tastes like sour birthday cake mixed with a creamsicle covered in pixie sticks and a healthy sprinkling of despair. Oh, gosh, despair. Our show is so much better than despair and a lot cheaper, too. And it doesn't leave that that ugly residue on your hands either. All they need to do, our listeners, our funkin' fans, go to Nice Guys. Oh, where are we going? Patreon.com. Ah, shit. Okay, let's do that again. (laughs) That was good.